Tonight's game is brought to you by Michael Fondren with Citroen Injury Attorneys. Mississippi, Alabama, Andy wins, Andy wins, on two, on two, hut, hut. Touchdown! Yes! Yes! Yeah! I may be a little bit slow on the gridiron these days, but I got you back in the courtroom. Go Panthers! All right! It's Friday night, Panther fans, and that means Gula football right here on Gulf Coast Sports Media. I'm Harold Tillman, and this week I'll be joined by Carlos Moles back in the booth. Man, glad to have you back. Glad to be back, Harold. Glad to be back with you and our fans. It looks like Pascagoula has won the toss, and they have deferred to the second half, so we'll see that that explosive Biloxi offense first. Um, this is the 99th time that Pascagoula has played Gulf uh, uh, Bluxy, I'll get it out in a minute. And um, if you ask me what the what the makeup of that '99 games, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you how many we won, how many we lost. But but, but we do uh, know it's a '99 game. But it is a '99 game. That's right. I can we are that sure much. about that. There you go. There you go. Um, so, so what that means, Harold, it's been a long tradition and a long rivalry of playing against these Biloxi Indians and these. Absolutely. Uh, actually, from what I was told, is is this is the the longest, longest, or the the most games that Pascagoula's played against any one opponent. You would thought it would have been Moss Point, Moss Point Pascagoula, but that's not the case. It's Bluxy, and I guess that that goes back to years ago, forties and fifty. You know, so right. Well, the Panthers are entering the field and um, little make little different makeup this night tonight we are uh, actually in a press box and you know if you're if you follow this broadcast i hate to be in a press box but our camera is on top of the um, top of the press box so this is going to be interesting i'm sure that there'll be some some uh-ohs and um, but we'll get through it definitely and that's a fact tank bishop will be kicking for pascagoula Tank Bishop Harold, you know that's one of my guys from yep. day, from the first game. You called it too. I called it. We're going. He's going to play some dividends as we uh, get into the season. Let me tell you what, great kid too. Uh, if you talk to him off, uh, you know, uh, off the field, you know, he, he he's he's intelligent. He's he's excited about playing. He you know, but just a well-rounded, well-rounded young man. Yeah, I call him like he's like a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, can, can do a little bit of everything. Number eighty-two. Well, I called George, uh, Bishop, uh, but that's not the case. It's going to be number 82. Griffin McAdams. Yep. Griffin McAdams kicking. It. And it's an onside kick, kick by kick. Pascagoula. Recovered by Biloxi. Man, I tell you what, uh, it was a little closer than uh, probably Biloxi wanted it to be. Regardless, the you know, ball's going to be placed on the 36-yard line. Yeah, that ball hung in the air for a minute, Harold. Yeah. We, we had a shot at that. Look across the field at the um, the down marker. It's lit. So that, that's something new. I haven't seen that. Pascagoula coming in tonight with a 3-1 and one record. Biloxi with a 2-2. Two and two. Don't let the two and two fool you. They they've had some pretty tough games too, and then they've played pretty good. So uh, Pascal is going to have their hands full. Lining up for Biloxi at quarterback is Zachary Marlin, number sixteen. Ball on the ground, and he's going to fall on it. Harold, I think the snap was good. I think the quarterback just took his eyes off the ball. Maybe it was. A, it come in a little high. It, it was a little high, you know, uh, but. Um, Regardless, he did the right thing. He, he fell on the ball. You know, the worst thing that could have happened for him is for him to try to pick it up and, and pass a Gula get it, which we would like that. That's, yes. a, that's a Gula call right there. Definitely. So, it's going to bring up second and looks to be a close to 20. Harold, that pass a Gula defense is going to be pivotal tonight during this game. Yeah, and um, one of the things we had trouble with last week was containment. 
uh, definitely got to contain. We, you know, we've got to uh, got to turn them back inside, and we've got to be there to make the tackle whenever we do turn them back inside. Exactly. So, I guess what I'm saying is, is that the defense struggled last week. I know that they worked hard on it during the uh, during practice throughout the week, and um, I'm looking for a difference. I'm not sure what's going on right now, but. Um, Referees talking to the Biloxi head coach. Oh, I can tell you right now the um, the play clock isn't isn't working on the. Uh, I guess that's going to be the north side of the end zone. But there we go. Going to have some new players on this defensive side of the ball for Pascagoula. I know that uh, Jalen Parnell is uh, off tonight, um, and um, we'll <coughs> see who they plugged in there. I know Jared Lopert's in the middle of that defense. Pascagoula's going to stuff on about the 28-yard line. He can pick up a few. Yeah, Harold, that was a good stop by that defensive line from Pascagoula. And like you said, tonight is going to be next man up mentality uh, for Pascagoula in some spots. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've got we have multiple out tonight. Um, it, you know, I, and, and for the most part, I think it's a it's precaution for um, uh, being being careful. You know, we've got region play starting next week, so inside handoff. Oh, oh, he sniffed stop. it out. Yeah, it was inside handoff. Jared Loper, number seven, with the stop. That's going to bring up fourth and long, so we'll see the punting unit for Biloxi. Back deep for Pascagoula is number two, Jalen Webb. And if I'm reading this correctly, Mr. Loper is a 10th grader for Pascagoula. Yeah, yeah. Heavy rush coming in. That was dangerous, but um, Webb, Webb is going to try to make up. something happen. He'll pick up some yardage there, be brought out of bounds about the 45-yard line. So, Pascagoula is going to have decent field position. Got just a minute. Won't you call out a couple of our sponsors? If yes. We'd like to just thank our sponsors, New Wave, Internal Medicine, Fletcher Construction, Light Law, Bozos, Bozos 2, and Bozos 2 and a half. There you go. Foster's Heating and Air, Kirk Harbin Construction, Aruka House Thrift Store, Michael Frondren and Centron Attorneys, Pascagoula Athletic Foundation, Charles Busby for Transportation Commission. Thank you all for your sponsorships and what you're investing into these young men and into our community. Thank you. Hand off up the middle. Going to be drugged down. Going to be a loss of yardage. Uh, that's going to be number 18, Xavier Kennedy on the carry. I believe it's number 18. Yeah, that was great penetra penetration by that's that. Gonna, I'm sorry. That's going to be number number 10. That's going to be Amari Jackson. I don't know. It just looked like an eight from here. <laughs> We've got great field. I mean, be, to be able to see the field. But that 10 and that eight just uh, – so that'll be a loss of yardage on that play. It's going to bring up second and 13. Quick pass to, uh, I believe that's going to be, is that Barnes, number 15? Yes, Brian Barnes. Brian Barnes will pick up the first down for Pascagoula. That was a great pass by uh, our quarterback quarter there, getting the ball out quickly. And that's going to be a first down for Pascagoula, sponsored by Michael Fondren with Centron Attorneys. That was a great pass, Harold, and he broke one tackle and got away and, and got some yak, some well, yards after the catch. Absolutely, and I'll tell you, uh, these defensive backs for Biloxi are tested, and uh, they're good athletes, so we're going to have our hands full. We can't just rely on the pass. We've got to be able to move the ball. And um, Pascagoula, you know, they're trying to establish that run also. That one's going to pick up about a yard to bring up second and nine for Gula. 
that nose tackle for Biloxi, it's stout. Yep. Matter of fact, you've got it. I think you have weights and. Hard count trying to draw Biloxi off sides, not the case. Quick pass, number seven, I mean, number 12, that's going to be Chris Campbell, the intended receiver. It hits him in the hands. I think he started to run before he had it. Yeah, it looks like you might have heard some footsteps coming this way, Harold. <clears throat> but that was a great pass by quarter. And I'm watching that interior line like I always do on Friday nights. And number 72 for Biloxi at nose tackle. They're double teaming him and they're cutting him at the line. Good, good play by um, Quarter. He, he, good fake, comes up, throws the ball, and it is a complete pass. That's going to be Amari Jackson. I mean, I'm sorry, not Amari Jackson. That's going to be uh, number five, Jacobian May, on the reception. So that'll move the chains again for Pascagoula. That's a Pascagoula first down, Harold, sponsored by Michael Feindron with Centron Attorneys. And that was, a, that was a really good pass. He put it where no one was going to come up with it except – May, and uh, he was double teamed. Yeah, he threaded the needle on that pass. Great run right there. Amari Jackson on the carry. Action Jackson's going to bring it to about the 20-yard line. And he has to have a big game tonight. We've yeah, got we, to have production from him tonight. Yeah, we've got to, we've got to establish that, 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 uh, that authority on the offensive line. We've got to win in between the trenches. We tonight. weren't able to do that last week. And, Again, handoff to Amari Jackson. He's Great. still on his feet. He's going to be to about the 15-yard line. Great blocking by that Pascagoula offensive line. It looks like they're trying to establish the run right now and, and that dominance across that, that in those trenches. Well, you establish the run, that's going to open up the pass. And exactly. um, that, that, that's your balanced offense there. So, Nothing like seeing some man-on-man, smash-mouth football. Hey, got to love it. Just going to bring up second in about six for Pascagoula. And off again, up the middle. And he's going to be hit hard. Jalen Webb's going to be a ball carrier. He's going to get close to the 10-yard line. That was some good hard running by Mr. Webb. Uh, he shook off the first half when he was hit hard flush. Yeah, he was hit hard. Gazzo, number 50 for Biloxi on the tackle. It's going to bring up third and about three. So, um, need a big first down here. Webb still in behind quarter. I think uh, Biloxi may have jumped, Harold. Oh, that would that would help us tremendously. And their body language is saying that they did jump. They're already backing up. So that should move the chains for Pascagoula. But don't let me get ahead of myself here. It is going to be against Biloxi. So that will move the chains for Gula. That's a Pascagoula first down. Sponsored by Michael Fondren with Citroen Attorneys. Tell you what, I like for you to say that because the more you say it, the, the more we, first downs we've gotten. And so, Webb, yeah, in the backfield with Quarter. Another hand. I know Quarter keeps it. Look at the corner of the end. Touchdown, Pascagoula. Great Fry focal on the, on the reception. Steps across the line for the six points for Gula. Great call. We needed that early in the game to get that established. But that we were running the ball well and we, when we threw the ball well on that drive. Well, I didn't get as hyped up as I usually get because we're in these uh, this press box and we've got coaches on one side and uh, a, lot, a lot of Biloxi people here. So, <laughs> so kicking four Pascagoula, Griffin McAdams. I believe that's number 82. That is correct. It's up and good. So Pascagoula takes the lead, 7-0. We'll take a break. Be right back after this. It's Busby for Transportation Commissioner. A good game plan requires the right play caller. Vote Busby. 
November 7th for Mississippi's Southern District Transportation Commissioner. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. And we're back. Pascagoula taking their fir the, the first drive, putting it in the end zone for seven points. So, got to be excited about that, Carlos. Uh, we, and it wasn't predominantly passing. It wasn't predominantly running. It, it was a mix, and I like that mix. Yeah, it was a well-balanced attack. Uh, we established the run. We, we, we passed it when we needed to. And it was good to see that defense come out in hole two on that first series. Yep, that was the question coming into the game. Was the was the defense going to respond a posit, positive, you know, positive response? And, and, and the first drive sort of says that we we have, but, you know, there's a lot of slips between a cup and a lip. You play four quarters of football, and it's got to continue. So, Nick Adams kicking off for Pascagoula. Here, another offside kick by Pascagoula. I guess they saw something this week doing watching film. Ball's going to be on the 46. Um, yeah, you know, it's easy for us to say, you know, they ought to kick the ball deep. They ought to, but they're the ones that's watching the film. They're the ones that uh, that have the insight on on what's going on. So uh, you got to trust in your coaches. That's what you pay them to get out there and do. And uh, that that comes under making the, or that's their, those decisions right there. So. They're going to be a reception. Was that ball intercepted, Harold? It, it was. That was an interception. Okay, by Pascagoula. You know, we are a little. We're we're far away because I, I couldn't tell if it was intercepted or it was uh, it was caught. So um, you got better eyes than I do. That that was Jalen Webb on that interception for Pascagoula. Great coverage. Great coverage by Webb. Right, play. he was in his back pocket. For sure. Now, there's a discussion going on, so we'll see. So, the call is interception right now for Pascagoula, <clears throat> and, the, and the officials are having a, 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 a discussion, a meeting of the minds. Can be Pascagoula ball, indicated by the referee. Got just a minute. Um, let me give just a quick shout out, real quick, to Jimmy Calmer at home watching Pascal Panthers play. And uh, we appreciate you tuning in. It goes for you too, Todd Buckley. You know Todd. I know oh, Todd. A, a one and of I our got own a, teammates. I got a name for you. I got a name for you, Jalen Smith. Oh, one Jaylen of Pascal's Smith. greatest, right yes, there. Yes. Excited, great. exciting each and every time he touched the ball. Great young man from a great family. So Pascagoula looking at a first and 10 ball on the 25 yard line. Fry Focal with the reception. He's trying to get around that edge. Gonna be brought down. Harold, that's about the second time they ran that, that swing pass out to that split end. That one's gonna be a loss of yardage right there. I'm gonna lose a, a yard. So that's going to bring up second and 11. Hand off up the middle. Action Jackson's got some room. He's going to bring the ball across the 40 to about the 42 yard line. Nice play, nice blocking up front. Definitely, and that's a Pascagoula first down. Sponsored by Michael Fondren with Citroen Attorneys. Got just a minute. Let me ask you just a quick question. Do you know a guy by the name of Tavarius Moles? Oh, I know him very well. Oh, really? How do you know him? Uh, he is my brother and a former Pascagoula standout football player in the in the early 90s. Well, he's watching, so uh, welcome. Ball's going to be placed on about the 46-yard line. 
dive up the middle. Amari Jackson on the carry. I really like what they're doing, Harold, by establishing that run. That's going to open up and pay dividends later on. And off again, up the middle, Amari just bullying his way through. And that might be a first down for Pascagoula. We'll see if they move those chains. If it's not a first down, it's close. Yeah, it's it's, it's very close. Uh, about a half a foot short. Jalen Webb checking in in a tailback position for Pascagoula. And no, he kept it. Going downfield. Almost caught. It was in his hands. He come down. He couldn't hold on to it. But that's going to bring up fourth and about six inches. I like the call, Harold. Yeah, I like the call. You took a sh you take a shot. You got you, your offensive line is showing that they can dominate up front, so you take a shot down the field, and it's fourth and inches. I like the call. Okay, well if you're the coach, what are you doing right now? You're just diving up the middle. It's Action Jackson. They're expecting it. They're expecting it. So is that Fry Fry Focal in the backfield? Looks like a quarterback sneak. I have whistles. Whistles blow the plate dead. Is that going to be a heat timeout, Pascula timeout? Usually you get the heat timeouts about five minutes left in the quarter, and we are at two minutes, 54 seconds. at Eureka House Thrift Store, where all of our proceeds go back into our ministry to support our men, women, and children. We accept donations Monday through Saturday from 9 until 6. We thank you and God bless. And we're back. Not, it was timeout called. I don't know if it was an official timeout, being the heat timeout, or if it was a... Uh, if it was a call timeout for Pascagoula. Regardless, Pascagoula's looking at a fourth in inches. I'm, I'm sure they're gonna start trying, they're gonna, they're gonna try to, that hard count. Quarter's real good at doing that. But he is under center, so uh, they're gonna stack the middle. Quarter's just gonna have to, tell you what, he's trying to get around that end. He'll pick up the first down and more. Ball's gonna be placed about the 46 yard line. Yep, and that's a Pascagoula first down. Sponsored by Michael Fondren and Centron Attorneys. Good play call. I mean, they were stacking the box and um, faked it up the middle. Yeah, I got a little nervous as they started stringing that out a little yeah, bit. Yeah. But he got it upfield and got the yard that's needed for the first down. <laughs> Quick shout out to Nita Mac Parnell. She's home watching. She's usually right there in the stands. She, Lord knows we can't sit around her whenever uh, we're uh, we're calling the game because these these mics uh, they pick up everything. Quarter mix up and uh, he. Yeah, tucks that was him. a busted play, Harold. Yeah. Uh, him and him and uh, Mr. Jackson weren't on the same page on that play. Yeah, what what I was saying, uh, you know, with Nita Mac is is that uh, she says you know she says some things and we have to. We have to careful. ignore it. Yeah, we have to be careful around her. But we miss her tonight. Yep, we are missing her. <clears throat> Hand off up the middle. He'll pick up a few or maybe a yard and a half there. It's going to bring up third and about eight. You've got a Biloxi player down on the field, Harold. Tell you what, we'll take a timeout be right back right after this. 
Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Lot Law. Visit mattlotlaw.com. Busby for Transportation Commissioner. A good game plan requires the right play caller. Vote Busby. November 7th for Mississippi's Southern District Transportation Commissioner. Fletcher Construction Company has established itself as one of the leading commercial and industrial contractors on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The superior quality of their construction has met and exceeded customers' expectations for decades. Having successfully completed projects ranging in size from thousands to millions of dollars, Fletcher has the experience to complete any size project on schedule and within budget. Fletcher Construction Company, 3311 Shortcut Road in Pascagoula. A proud sponsor of Panther Football on WGUD. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. And we're back. Azaria's Butler, the uh, Indian that was on the ground, he gets up, runs off the field on his own. That looked like maybe an uh, ankle injury, as you said. So Pascagoula looking at a third and about eight. Quarter dropping back, looking for a receiver in and out of the hands of number 13 for Pascagoula, and that's going to be Darius Carter. Bring up fourth down. So. Flags come out, or was that an? That's going to be timeout, Biloxi. So we'll keep it here. Um, let's hear from our hear from our sponsors again. Yes, New Wave Internal Medicine, Fletcher Construction, Lot Law, Bozos, Bozos Two, and Bozos Two and a Half, Foster's Heating and Air, Kirk Harbin Construction, Aruka House Thrift Store. Michael Fondren and Centron Attorney, Injury Attorneys, Pascagoula Athletic Foundation, and Charles Busby for Transportation Commission. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your sponsorships. Tell you what, we could not bring this to the Pascagoula community without those sponsors' help. Definitely. And um, it, it's such so valuable to uh, to us to be able to you know for them to step up and uh, help us bring it to Pascagoula community. And what better way to get your message out about your business or get people going to your business than on a Friday, hearing it on a Friday night here on Gulf Coast Media? Tell you what, um, Pascal football? Yeah, buddy. Definitely. Doesn't get much better, Harold. No, it don't get much better. Gets the punt off. Should be brought down about the 30-yard line, depending on where he stepped out. Your punter was Xavier Kennedy for Pascagoula. And that was Jalen Johnson on the return for Biloxi. Five, return. And they're going to say about the 31-yard line is where they're going to mark the ball. So, we need this Pascagoula defense to step up again. Tell you what, we'll take a quick commercial break. No, 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 let's keep it here, Hunter, keep it here. I thought that was going to go on a little bit longer. You got 45 seconds left in this first quarter. Pascagoula at this point leading 7 0. So, um, yeah, we'll keep it here. Handoff up the middle. Now, this quarterback kept it. He'll pick up a first down. It's going to be thrown out of bounds about the. Looks like be about a 44-yard line. All right, tackle by Tylen Wilson. 
of Pascual to number three. Tell you what, that tackle sort of carried over into the uh, out of bounds area. Uh, I kind of thought we were fixing to get a, a, a penalty flag there, but it, nevertheless, it we didn't. It, it could have easily been that call, Harold. It could have easily been that call. Looks like Pat or Biloxi jumped. Yeah, that'll be number 55. Left a little bit early for Biloxi. So that should back him up. Uh, Pascagoula looking at 14 seconds left in this first quarter. Pascagoula leading 7 0. Ball's going to be placed on the 38 yard line. It'll be first and 15. Just kind of that wildcat. Going to try to spread Pascagoula out a little bit. That's going to bring the first quarter to an end. We'll take a break. Be right back with that second quarter right after this. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by New Wave Internal Medicine. The Pascagoula Panther live stream is proudly brought to you by Bozo's Grocery. Bozo's 2 and Bozo's two and a half. Come on down to Bozo's today. Eureka House Thrift Store, where all of our proceeds go back into our ministry to support our men, women, and children. We accept donations Monday through Saturday from nine until six. We thank you and God bless. And we're back, getting ready to kick off this second quarter. Pascagoula leading 7-0 if you're just tuning in. Been a uh, pretty good ball game. Pascagoula's moved the ball, uh, drove the ball down on their first possession, put it in the end zone. That's been the only score of the game. Luxie was having some success with that uh, Wildcat, and it has kind of opened that defense up a little. I mean, that all has opened Pascagoula's defense up a little bit. Yeah, this calls a, that defense to spread a little bit, Harold. Uh, they just ran an inside handoff for a big gain right there. Quick shout out to the Pascula Elks Lodge, 1120, always doing good things for the community. I'm an elk and uh, proud of it. Good group, group of people. We've got a timeout on the field. We'll take a quick one also. Be right back. Mississippi, Alabama, Andy wins. Andy wins on two, on two. Hut, hut. Touchdown. Yes, yes. Yeah. I may be a little bit slow on the gridiron these days, but I got you back in the courtroom. Go Panthers. All right. And we're back. Well, I'm not sure Biloxi was ready to come back yet, so. Harold, it's a beautiful night for football here. I'm trying to – he picked the ball up and moved it to the uh, – closer to the 45-yard line. I'm not sure why the, the ball would be the right placement and the down marker would be set on the ball. So <laughs> they make that shift, overload the right side of that uh, – that offensive line. Helmet comes off. He'll pick up a couple of yards. That's going to bring up third and about six for Bluxy. Marlin's got some speed. I'm telling you, he's he's pretty quick. He got that twitch to him. I call it a twitch.
I like Webb. He's uh, right up in, in that receiver's face at the bottom of your screen. Handoff up the middle. He's still on his feet. Can be brought out of bounds about the 33 yard line. Huge pickup for Biloxi. Yeah, that's William Lye on that carry right there. I thought we had him tackled, but uh, yeah, he ran not that the case. Ball. He was running hard. He broke about two tackles and got in the open field. William Lye, he's a sophomore. Oh boy. Ball's going to be placed on the 33 yard line. So it's first and 10 for Biloxi. Need a big defensive stop here. Tell you what, they attempted to th – yeah, it was a, a pass. I think that was batted down here. Yeah, it was. I, I was looking – when he threw the ball in arm motion, I was looking downfield to see who was – but it was. It was batted down at the line of scrimmage. That's what those defensive linemen are taught. If you can't get to the quarterback, put those big mitts up in the air and let's knock the ball down. Great job by that pass to the defensive line. Now, Carlos, I know that you were a uh, you were an offensive lineman. Did you ever play defensive line? I did. I did. I played defensive line all through junior high and in tenth grade. He's still on his feet. Wow! Going to bring the ball to about the twenty-five yard line. Going to be a big pickup for Biloxi there. So you played defense until tenth grade. T tenth grade. I played a little bit in tenth grade and until they moved me uh, to offensive tackle. I'm a natural offensive lineman. Marlon calls for the ball. And he, I think it was a busted play. It but uh, like <laughs> I think he looked for the, the running back. He wasn't there, so he tucked and went. Yeah. And Harold, I always considered myself a smart guy. It, it wasn't too many snaps to be had on that defensive side of the ball with that defensive line we had when we were there. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> is that going to be a first down, or is that a that's going to be third like and? This, they are switching this first down. That was well, the they haven't down. moved the. They haven't moved the. Um, They're telling them now. I think. Okay, there down. we go. Yeah. Have you ever gone on to YouTube and looked up that 87 team and watched some of the uh, the games? That that was a big production by WLOX that year, and um, I thought that was interesting. Marlon trying to get around that end. He's going to be – well, I was going to say brought, now he's going to be brought down about the 27-yard line. So it'll be a loss of – or loss of yardage on the play. Yeah, that was that was a great play by that defensive end, uh, number 45. And Wyatt, Wyatt Henderson and number 29 – for Pascagoula, Antone Price. Great great job by those young men. Let me call out a couple of names for you, Carlos, and tell me uh, if, you, if you remember any of these guys. These are old-timers here. Uh, Mike Moreland. Mike Moreland, great, great guy, great man, great baseball player, Hall of Famer here at Pascagoula okay, High this, School. This one's going to even be harder because I, you're going to have to find something good to say about him. Chad Crawford. Oh, Chad Crawford, my guy. <laughs> Chad Crawford comes from a long line of Pascagoula athletes. His brother Stan is a former quarterback. And if I remember correctly, Chad's father was a center at Alabama when Kenny Stabler was the quarterback at Alabama, if my memory serves me correctly. And it probably serves you correct. You're a lot younger than I am. So. <laughs> I tell you, um, one of the things that I hear Chad talk about, and actually Stan has told me a couple of times, that their dad has a handwritten letter of, of I think it's a, it's a handwritten letter to – Ingles to hire him for a, a, a I think it was like a, a summer program and he, I think he ended up staying yeah. and, and working for Ingles so, yeah. Yeah, so uh, that you know just to have that handwritten letter you know Bear Bryant yeah that's a good family that Crawford family Marlon looking downfield gonna be hit and hit hard I tell you what um, that was a great play come up by uh, that Pascal defensive back Deshaun Lett, Deshaun Lett, number 21. Tell you what, he come up and um, ball was thrown and, and just closed that Perfect that timing, space. perfect yeah. timing. Closed it quick. Perfect timing, great play. As we would call back in our day, Harold, he laid some wood on that play. There you go. It's going to bring up third and 
about 14, 15 for uh, Biloxi. Big third down play. Pascula needs a big stop here. Marlin going to try to get around that end, rolling out and looking to the corner of the end zone, or actually uh, the corner of the field there. Biloxi looking for a uh, penalty. No flags on the play. So that will bring up fourth and about 16 for Pascagoula. <coughs> I'm sorry, for Biloxi. Buh, buh, buh. I'll get it out in a minute. That's all right. You're doing fantastic. I, I tell you, Harold, I, I know a lot of our listeners know, mm -hmm. but I know there's a lot of our listeners who don't know the, the history and tradition that we have here at Pascagoula High School. So much history, so much tradition. And I would just like to challenge the listeners who don't know to, to find out about this, this institution, this high school that we love so dearly. They don't have a timeout on the field. It's going to be Biloxi. Oh, nope, Pascagoula calls that timeout. I'll tell you what, we'll take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll talk about more Panther football right after this. Busby for Transportation Commissioner. A good game plan requires the right play caller. Vote Busby, November 7th for Mississippi's Southern District Transportation Commissioner. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. And we're back. We're still in that timeout. Um, so we'll talk a little bit more about um, – Let's talk about the quarterback club. I know you were getting ready to say something about the quarterback club. Uh, I was president of the quarterback club for four years, and that is the one place that you can get a shirt or you can get uh, Pascula Panther uh, uh, clothing or, or, or whatever, and you can count on 100% of the profits going to this Pascula High School football team. And that's the only place in town that will give you that guarantee. Marlon, looking downfield, in and out of what did he did he come down with I it? I think he came down with a Harold. It's still gonna be short of the first down. It'll be a turnover on on downs. On down. So Pascal will take over on about the twenty two yard line. And Harold, just to piggyback piggyback on what you were saying about the quarterback club, and guess what, fans? You don't have to have someone a child playing football Good point. to be a member. I was a member of the quarterback club for years without having any children in the program. So just come out to give out to the community. And if you want to give back and if you want to learn more about what's going on with Pascagoula High School football, the quarterback club is one way. And then also the Pascagoula Athletic Foundation is another way to get involved with all the athletics Absolutely. at Pascagoula High School. So we encourage that and support that. Okay, Pascagoula with the ball on their own 18. You've got eight minutes, 32 seconds left in this half of football. Pascagoula leading 7-0. Time to um, march down the field, put it in the end zone again. Ball comes loose. He picks it up, and he goes down about the five-yard line. That could have been really bad. It hit him. I thought it hit him in the hands. It wasn't a perfect snap, but it, but was, it was manageable. it was definitely handleable, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was manageable. Handle so that will back Pascagoula up. Second um, down at 21. They say in second and 21 for Pascagoula. Handoff up the middle. Going to be stopped by a host of Indians. Or I should have said a tribe of Indians. Yeah, here I think they're just trying to get him some room to get away from that goal line. Uh, yeah. But that's going to bring up third and, again, long. Third and 19. Quarter looking downfield. He's scrambling. He's still on his feet, but going to be brought down short of the 10-yard line. So that's going to bring up fourth and a long way to go for uh, for Pascagoula. So we'll see that punting unit. Yep, that tackle made by Mitt Coleman Gazel. Great stop by Coleman. Pascagoula come out that first drive, marched the ball down the field, and uh, put it in the end zone. 
but really hasn't done a whole bunch these last few drives. We've got to be careful down here, backed up on our own end zone, Harold. Everything's got to be perfect. As you can see now, they brought Mr. Bishop back in to punt. Yep. Is that Bishop? It looks like him to me, Harold. Yeah, it's Bishop. Good snap. He gets it off. He calls fair catch. Going to be about the 39-yard line. That, they might have put it on the 40. They're going to say 35, man. 35 I, I'm, yeah, I'm all messed up there. Uh, the Biloxi starting out with some good field position with 6.06 left in the second quarter. Well, defense is going to come out with their backs against the wall again. So, um, really going to have to bend but not break. Uh, you got to have that attitude. Marlon rolling to his right, looking downfield, and um, receiver had a, man. Had a step, but uh, overthrows him. Yeah, that Marlon, number 11, there's something about him, Harold. Yeah. Something about him. He's got that it factor. He And, and uh, my paperwork says – That's number 11. That That's the – that's uh, William Lay. He's a 10th grade quarterback. Right. He That's – that Lay, he's, he's something special. They've been cha changing him and uh, Marlon out throughout this first and second quarter. Tell you what, he's zigging, he's zagging, he's picking up um, some yardage there. Uh, he broke a couple of tackles to keep that ball moving. I think when Lay comes in, he, he brings in the change of pace. And I think that's throwing Pascal Gould off a little bit right now. Well, they've got a timeout on the field. We'll take it. Be right back. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Lot Law. Visit MattLotLaw.com. And we're back. Pascagoula at this point leading 7-0, but uh, Bluxy on the march. Got real good field position, but they're looking at a third and about four. Ball's on about the 28-yard line. They're going to say third and three. Tell you what, ball was on the ground. Ball, ball on, the ground. on the ground. I, looks like Biloxi's going to fall on it. Tell you what, um, number seven for Pascagoula, Jared Loper. He come in, he come in like he was coming in with a mission. You hear me? Yeah, I've been watching uh, Mr. Loper all night. He is playing with bad intentions. And you know he's our backup quarterback. Yes. And uh, he's tenth grader at that. So tenth yeah, grader. he's a playmaker. Um, he, he, you know, you can. You go back and you look at you look at uh, players that that played quarterback, but yet early when they come up as a tenth grader, they wasn't on the field as a quarterback. They was on the field as a linebacker right. or something like that. But uh, and he's one of them. He reminds me of a former Panther that used to wear number seven, and play quarterback and linebacker. You Panther fans may remember Stacy Warren. Yep, absolutely. Um, that ball is going to be put on the uh, ten yard line, and and look, Stacy Warren come up. He played linebacker, just what you said. I watched him for a few years, and I'll tell you this too: his eleventh grade year going to um, going to twelve twelfth grade year, and his twelfth grade year was the year that we we went to state. I was I was not a believer at the time because I didn't feel like his heart was in playing quarterback because he loved linebacker 
so you know so much. But he he just he he just took the role and just run with it and carried that team on his back to the state championship. To the state championship, and they had to go through picking you. In yeah, picking you, they had to go through picking you. And his father played. Actually, if you remember, the first time we played Picky Yoon that year, Picky Yoon, we played him at home. It was a TV and they game. beat our brains yeah, out. Our brains lights out. out, you know. Um, Reverse. Still on his feet. Going to be brought to about the 25-yard line. Four minutes, 44 seconds left, and that will move the chains for Pascagoula. And that's a Pascagoula first down sponsored by Michael Fondren with Centron Attorneys. But going back to what we were saying, you know, they beat our eyes out in that um, that, that big product, production game, you know. Um, Had the Megatron C-Spire. out there. C-Spire, I think it yeah. was a C-Spire, C-Spire game or whatever. But anyway, come come the, um, the playoffs, we beat them in the playoffs. Number 13 for Pascagoula, Darius Carter with the reception. Pick up about four yards. Pascagoula's running a hurry-up offense right now. Calling plays from the line. They're going to say that was a five-yard game. So, uh. Handoff up the middle. Jackson's going to be hit immediately at the line of scrimmage. I think he might even have lost. He maybe picked up a yard. I thought maybe he lost, but they moved the down marker forward. So, yeah, wasn't much, uh, wasn't much on that side right there, Harold. But Luxie's defense has definitely tightened up uh, the second quarter. Well, adjustments were made, and um, that, that's that's what a good team does. Campbell on the carry for Gula. Going to pick up a first down and more. Ball's going to be placed on about the, I would say, the 39-yard line. And that's a pass to Gula first down. Sponsored by Michael Fondren with Citroen Attorneys. Going to be a 46-yard line correction. Man, I'm all over the place. You hear me? I'm all over the place. You're doing fantastic. My eyes, that's the 40-yard line. I'll get it right in a minute. And you know who's making fun at me at the house? Chad. <laughs> Chad, I can hear him right now. Hand off up the middle. Jackson on the carry. He's got some He's room. Got some room. Going to be a huge first down for Pascagoula. Ball's going to be placed on about the 36-yard line, maybe 37. And that's a Pascagoula first down sponsored by Michael Fondren with Citron Attorneys. Two minutes, 22 seconds left in this half of football. Right now, Pascagoula leading 7-0, but... There's going to be a flag on the play, so it looks like that's coming back. Like a holding call against Pascagoula. Well, it was a wrong call because it wasn't a Gula call. You know that's right. So that'll back Pascagoula up. We'll have to do it again. got Barnes and Fry Focal at the bottom of your screen. That's going to bring up first and 20 for Pascagoula. In and out of the mm-hmm. hands of uh, May was the intended receiver. He goes up for it, but uh, not able to come down with it. That's going to bring up second and 20 for Pascagoula. We've got to take advantage of um, of opportunities. I was sitting here looking at my notes from last year, and it said led the whole game 14-6 until two minutes left, in, and then we end up losing. Uh, 15 to 14. We gave the game away, had the ball on six-inch line on two different occasions, and didn't put it in the end zone. Hmm. So, uh, got to take advantage of opportunities. We're going to take a break and be right back. It's Busby for Transportation Commissioner. A good game plan requires the right play caller. 
Vote Busby, November 7th for Mississippi's Southern District Transportation Commissioner. Fletcher Construction Company has established itself as one of the leading commercial and industrial contractors on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The superior quality of their construction has met and exceeded customers' expectations for decades. Having successfully completed projects ranging in size from thousands to millions of dollars, Fletcher has the experience to complete any size project on schedule and within budget. Fletcher Construction Company, 3311 Shortcut Road in Pascagoula, a proud sponsor of Panther Football on WGUD. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Pascal looking at a second and 20 quarter. Looking downfield, he's got wide got open. Number 13 for Pascal, Darius Carter, and he's got some touchdown, touchdown Pascal. Pascal I'm looking down the field for a flag, and it is not one on the field. So that's a huge Pascagoula pass and catch for a touchdown. I'm going to tell you, he was wide. That open. had to be a blown coverage. That, it, he, was definitely. he was 10 yards behind that corner. Nice, nice throw by quarter. And Darius, you know, if you remember the first game, he had some big catches there. And, um, and I, what I liked about him, you know what I'm going to say, Harold, that yak, the that yards yak. after the catch. He finished the play in the end zone. Didn't get caught from behind. Great job by quarterback and receiver. Thank Bishop for the extra point for Pascagoula. It's up. And it's good. So Pascagoula leading 14-0. Two minutes, three seconds left in this half of football. We'll take a quick break. Be right back after this. Rika House Thrift Store, where all of our proceeds go back into our ministry to support our men, women, and children. We accept donations Monday through Saturday from 9 until 6. We thank you and God bless. Tell you, if, I think if they would have had another five yards to run, that uh, DB would have maybe run him down. It was... It was. Dar Darius nervous. has got good speed. Got and, a little nervous. Uh, I, I was fixing to say, you know, all, you know, he touched down Pascagoula, but I said, nah, better not call it too soon. Yeah, because, we, we uh, were both holding <laughs> off on it. We, we were waiting for that ball to cross the plane of that goal line. Chad, yes, I am, Harold, making fun of me. Of course, that's what he's doing. He said, good to know Carlos has my back. Always, Chad. Hey, Always. man, I appreciate that. You're supposed to be my cohort in crime. <laughs> you my side partner now. Come on. So, number 82 kicking off for Pascagoula. That's going to be McAdams. Tell you what, that's the quarterback, uh, number 11, and he's a playmaker. Number 21 on the tackle for Pascagoula. That's yeah. going to be Deshaun Lett. Yeah, he, he he has that it. Yeah, that that uh, number 11, your ball carrier, was William Lay. He's this. He was a second-string quarterback, but he's played a whole bunch in this uh, this game. Like you said earlier, they're just moving him in and out, moving yeah. him in and yeah. out. So. And he's just a 10th grader, if my memory serves me correctly. So Pascagoula. I think he's coming in the quarterback right now here. Leading 14-0, a minute 53 seconds left in this <coughs> half. So uh, need that uh, bend but don't break mentality on that defense. He just followed his, uh, his blocker and uh, just tucked in behind him, hand on his jersey. So you got to credit that offensive line for, uh, for Biloxi there. That was – Tell you what, he kept it, but um, sniffed out. 
the big number 92 for Pascagoula. That's going to be Farron Taylor on the stop. Of course, he had the hand, the fake handoff, and he sort of just tried to go off tackle. Farron Taylor on the spot, um, big tackle there. It's going to be a loss of yard. It's going to be up second and 13 for um, Biloxi. Wide open. Still Fall on the, the ground. Fall on the ground. Pascagoula, Pascagoula I think, has it. come up with it. And it is going to be Pascagoula ball. If nothing else, we got a minute, two seconds to work with. But if nothing else, they didn't put any points on the board there. And yeah, that's we, stifled, huge. we stifled that drive. I couldn't find the number who stripped that ball from Lee. But it was a heck of a play recovered by Pascagoula. We've got a minute, two seconds left. Let's, let's put some points on the board. Hey, nice long pass uh, in reception. Never know. And that's something that this year I have really gotten more comfortable with. You know, uh, anytime you have a young quarterback, you worry about passes. Quarter has settled into to his his own, and uh, he's managing the field good. He he's, his vision is a lot. You know, he he's understanding the game. The game has slowed down for him. And um, I'm not going to say all this good stuff and he make a mistake. So I'm going to shut up right there. <laughs> but no, he's he has actually played very good this year. Option. Did you? Good job. Ball's gonna go gonna go out about the 32 yard line, and it was out of bounds. So the play, but he didn't stop the play. What's the? I mean, the clock. But they just stopped it at 46 seconds. I don't get that. They burned what like eight eight nine seconds off the clock. Mari Jackson on the carry for Pascagoula is going to go across the 40-yard nice line to about the 44. We've got timeouts, so I'm not sure if uh, – And that's going to be a Pascagoula first down, Harold, sponsored by Michael Fondren with Centron Attorneys. I think you spiked the ball, Harold. Yep, he uh, – Clock's still running. And the clock's still running. I'm, I'm sitting here – I know, the, and, and I can't say too much because the clock operator is right next to us in the next booth. Yeah, they added more time. He, he picked it up. They added it back to 32 seconds. <laughs> They got 15 out here, one on one. Yeah, Barnes. I take a shot. And you got Campbell next to him. So. In the slot. <clears throat> they just got to watch that that safety high over the top, Harold. Right. He's fading to the other. Okay, seven. It's gonna be Anderson coming over to the bottom of your screen. Quarter looking downfield. Got him. Almost. Intended receiver, Amari Jackson, not able to bring it down. Incom ball falls incomplete. Hmm. They had what they wanted. If he would have caught that, that was going to the end zone. That was six points. Yep. Twenty-six seconds left in this half. Pascagoula leading 14-0. Love to put another one in the end zone before the before the game's over with. Throw. Oh, Tell that was what, almost that a heck was, of an interception. Yeah, that was um, that was close. Twenty seconds left. Pascagoula's punting crew coming on the field. Tell you what, let's give a quick shout out to John Ledbetter, Jackson County Sheriff. 
He's watching at home. Good How you doing, see. John? Glad you know, you're watching this, brother. He joined us in East Central. Actually didn't go on air, but he did come up and talk to us in halftime. And uh, level-headed, great young man. Yeah, John and I went through Leadership Jackson County together uh, back around, I think, 2017, 2018. Yeah, you're right, Harold. Good man. Good guy. Ball's going to be placed on the 22-yard line. You got 20 seconds left in this half of football. Pascagoula leading 14-0. Looks like Pascagoula's going to call a timeout. We'll take it also. Be right back. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by New Wave Internal Medicine. The Pascagoula Panther live stream is proudly brought to you by Bozo's Grocery, Bozo's Two, and Bozo's Two and a Half. Come on down to Bozo's today. And we're back. Keep in mind that Pascoola gets the ball, or they'll they'll receive the kickoff the after half. half. So that is correct. Uh, this is this is a tune from our day. Oh, a little John a Cougar little, Mellencamp. A well, little ditty about we, Jack and Diane. Yeah, we knew it as John Cougar, and all of a sudden he changed it to Mellencamp. So, but um, yeah, this is our day music here. My favorite part is second on the chili dog outside of Tasty Freeze. Oh, yeah. Outside Ed's. <laughs> we can say that, too. Looking back. Going deep. Going deep and um, almost intercepted. Great coverage by the Pascagoula defenders on that play. It'll be Xavier Kennedy. Went up, went up high. Yeah, that safety coming over the top, making sure that they didn't get past them. So great coverage by those defenders for Pascagoula. 13 seconds left in this half. And off up the middle. Good play. Big number 31 for Pascagoula. That's going to be... He's a new one. Eclix. I think that was 21, Harold. Was it 21? Deshaun, Deshaun, Deshaun Lett. Lett. Okay, well, that's going to bring the first half to a conclusion. Pascal leading 14-0. We're going to take a break, let you hear from our sponsors, and we'll be back with that third quarter kickoff right after this. Down. Down. Mississippi, Alabama. Andy wins. Andy wins. On two. On two. Hut, hut. Touchdown! Yes! Yes! Yeah! I may be a little bit slow on the gridiron these days, but I got you back in the courtroom. Go Panthers! All right! It's Busby for Transportation Commissioner. A good game plan requires the right play caller. Vote Busby, November 7th for Mississippi's Southern District Transportation Commissioner. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Lot Law. Visit MattLotLaw.com.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field the Pascagoula High School Marching Band. The Pascagoula High School Band is under the direction of Trent Patterson, Taylor Pearson, Josh Dern, Jennifer Tyson Gray, Brittany Peacock, and the staff includes Martel Pearson, Bailey Martin, Sydney Ziska. Their 2023 production is entitled In Sound and in Silence and includes the following musical selections. Beethoven's Symphony No. 5 and 9, Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel, Speechless by Naomi Scott. The Pascagoula High School marching band is under the field direction of drum majors Alondro Rodriguez, Mariana Ashervia, and Olivia Bulaware. Drum majors, is the band ready? Pascagoula, you may take the field for halftime entertainment.
Let's give one more round of applause for the Pascagoula High School Band. If you're back here tomorrow night for the Gulf Coast Invitational, you'll see the Pascagoula Band there as well. We appreciate you guys attending tomorrow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field the all superior Biloxi High School Marching Band. The Biloxi Band's 2023 competition, competition program is entitled The Minimalist Mixed Tape. The program contains our own mix of recognizable songs and sounds from the 80s to now as well as some of the most memorable dance moves. We hope that you can enjoy the nostalgia, fun, and creative effort put into our mixed tape. Created just for our Biloxi friends and family. The Biloxi Band staff includes Director of Bands Tracy Carter, Assistant Directors Jesse Stevens, Warren Bristol, Chris Morgan, Chris Word, Jennifer Smith, Scott Smith, and Paris Foreman. Additional staff includes Logan Benny, Fred Feeney, Mark Waymeyer, Justin Williams, and Jonathan Carr. The Minimalist Mixtape includes the following musical selections. Minimalist Dances by Matt Conway. Blue Shades by Frank Tichelli. Toxic by Britney Spears. And Careless Whispers by George Michael. The Biloxi High School Band is under the field direction of drum majors Ruthie Barnett, James Leon, Layla Prentice, and Camden Sheely. Drum majors. Is your band ready? <laughs> Biloxi High School Band, take the field for halftime performance.
Be sure to come back tomorrow night at 8.30 where we'll be an exhibition at the Gulf Coast Invitational, followed by the Gulf Coast Community College and William Carey University.
The festival starts tomorrow at 10.30, so come out and support. Busby for Transportation Commissioner. A good game plan requires the right play caller. Vote Busby, November 7th for Mississippi's Southern District Transportation Commissioner. Fletcher Construction Company has established itself as one of the leading commercial and industrial contractors on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The superior quality of their construction has met and exceeded customers' expectations for decades. Having successfully completed projects ranging in size from thousands to millions of dollars, Fletcher has the experience to complete any size project on schedule and within budget. Fletcher Construction Company, 3311 Shortcut Road in Pascagoula, a proud sponsor of Panther Football on WGUD. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Is at Arica House Thrift Store, where all of our proceeds go back into our ministry to support our men, women, and children. We accept donations Monday through Saturday from 9 until 6. We thank you and God bless. The winners will be announced on Saturday, September 30th. We'd appreciate your participation. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're selling VIP parking tickets that will give you access to parking right outside the stadium. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by New Wave Internal Medicine. The Pascagoula Panther live stream is proudly brought to you by Bozo's Grocery, Bozo's Two, and Bozo's Two and a Half. Come on down to Bozo's today. We're back to kick off this second half of football. Pascagoula leading 14 to 0. Pascagoula come out and uh, drove the ball down on their first possession, drove the ball down the field and was able to put it in the end zone. Uh, also, I think you know, one more time they were able to put it in the end zone, 14 points. Uh, Pascagoula's defense has played pretty pretty good tonight. Um, we were we were hoping for big things from them and uh, so far they have they've stood up and um, and, and made the, made a difference in his game. So, kicking off for Pascagoula, I'm sorry, for um, Biloxi. I believe that's going to be number 99, Tristan Borsi. Back deep for Pascagoula. Going to be number 10, Amari, ja Amari Jackson, 
and uh, Tylen Wilson, number two. Or, I'm sorry, number three. Jackson's going to be able to return the, going to return it. Um, tell you what, he's going to get pinned deep to about the eight-yard line. Ball got behind him. He had to retreat to the ball. Of course, it could have been worse. That'll bring up first and ten. Ball on about the eight-yard line for Pascagoula. So, they have to go the length of the field. Quarter calls for the ball. That actually changes the play at the line of scrimmage. Jalen Webb in the backfield with him. Hand off up the middle. Going to pick up a couple of yards, but going to be brought down about the 10 yard line. So that's going to bring up second and eight for Pascagoula. Nice pass to Campbell. Campbell trying to get around that end. It's going to be a uh, – flags are going to come out. I think we might have had a block in the back by Barnes. Can be holding Pascagoula. So that's not good. That'll back us up. Ball will be placed on the five. Handoff up the middle. Amari Jackson on the carry. Bring up third and about five for Pascagoula. Gazzo on the tackle for Biloxi. Have three receivers to the bottom of your screen, one to the top. Be a quick pass. Gonna be thrown out of bounds. That should have been a flag there, but uh, you know we got away with one of them earlier. But that will move the chains for Pascagoula. So that's a Pascagoula first down, sponsored by Michael Fondren with Citron Attorneys. First down, Quick pitch to, uh, I think that's going to be Campbell, number 12. He's still on his feet. If he can He's get got to that sideline, side he'll have some room. That'll move the chains again for Pascagoula. Ball's going to go out about the 41-yard line. Making that another first down for Pascagoula. 
sponsored by Michael Fondren with Centron Attorneys. Tell you what, we've got a panther on the field. We'll take a quick break. Be right back after this. Busby for Transportation Commissioner. A good game plan requires the right play caller. Vote Busby. November 7th for Mississippi's Southern District Transportation Commissioner. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. at Aruka House Thrift Store, where all of our proceeds go back into our ministry to support our men, women, and children. We accept donations Monday through Saturday from 9 until 6. We thank you and God bless. And we're back. Pascula, um, I've got a panther still down on the field. Um, Not sure from here. We can't really tell what part of the what part of the body that they're uh, they're inspecting. I, you know, you don't know if it's a knee. You don't know if it's a thigh. You don't. You know, you just don't know what it is. But it looked like he just set up on his own, Harold. So that's a good sign. <clears throat> and he has extra trainer extraordinaire Joe Davis and his team out there. Tell you what. You don't get no better than Joe Davis. Yes. It's going to be number 52 for Pascagoula. It's going to be Tristan Fortenberry, 12th grader. And um, tell you what, Tristan's a big old boy. That's going, to be a, that's going to be a huge loss if he's not able to come back. Ball's going to be on the 41-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Pascagoula. <clears throat> you got May and Fryfogel to the top of your screen, receivers, and you're going to have Campbell. And Darius Carter to the bottom. Hand off up the middle. Jackson trying to get around that edge, and he's still on his feet. That, look, first and second and third effort there. Yeah, it was great how he uh, split those two defenders from Biloxi. Great hard running for, for Mr. Jackson. That was a that was a hard running for just a few yards. You know, I think he got about, what, five yards maybe? No, maybe uh, four yards. Four yard gain, second down and six for the Panthers from their own Nice pass to uh, Campbell. Gain of about two. Three. Bring him third and about three for Pascagoula. off again to Jackson and he's going to be tackled this time behind the line of scrimmage that'll be a will be a loss so Tank Bishop on for Pascagoula to punt tell you what I've heard that Gazzo name called all night long um, he's having a good game tonight yeah He's been near or, or around the ball every play. <clears throat> Great hands by Mr. Bishop. That was a low ball, low punt, a low snap. Ball's going to be placed on the 20, or I'm sorry, the 16-yard uh, line. Yeah. 
So we'll see if this defense can uh, play the way they did in that first, the first half. Oh, man, I tell you what, that was almost a great catch. <clears throat> and he just got a step behind our, uh, our DB. Yeah, the quarterback's got to get the ball out of his hands a little bit quicker. Uh, that's, that's one thing I'm seeing with the quarterback from Biloxi. He's got to get that ball out just a little bit quicker. <clears throat> Watch number 11, Harold. For Biloxi. We're brought down about the 20 yard line. We're going to say the 19. He did that all on his own, Harold. Yeah. <laughs> William Lyon did all that on his own. Brought down by 97, Sebastian Ford. Third and seven. It's going to be up third and seven. Ball on the 19-yard line. Tell hey, you what, they just want to spread that field out and not not going anywhere that time. Great defense by Pascagoula. Taking to bring them fourth and long for uh, – Luxie, so the pun unit will come on back deep for the basket. Gula is going to be Jalen Webb, number two. You're also going to see number three back there, Tylen Wilson. Borsi punting for Biloxi. Fair catch signal by Wilson. Be downed about the 45-yard line. What? So Pascal will have decent field position. Harold, while we've got a chance, we just want to thank our sponsors again, New Wave Internal Medicine, Fletcher Construction, Lot Law, Bozos, Bozos 2 and Bozos 2 and a half, Foster Heating and Air, Kirk Harbin Construction, Aruka House Thrift Store, Michael Finder with Citroen Injury Attorneys, the Pascagoula Athletic Foundation, and Charles Busby for Transportation Commissioner. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your sponsorships. Quick question. Where do you think I ate today for lunch? Bozos, <laughs> Bozos 2, or Bozos, Bozos 2 and a half? Bozos with that uh, shrimp po' boy. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with some Bozos. Hand off up the middle, and he's got some room. Going to be brought down about the 38-yard line. Campbell out blocking along with number 55, Jem Jemiah Moore. You, you wouldn't look at it by looking at Mr. Jackson's frame, but he is a hard runner, and he will he doesn't mind dipping that shoulder. No, he's, he's gritty. Oh, he, he's, he, he's a tough young man. And uh, tell you, he's, he's only a 10th grader, so we're going to see him for a few more years. Tell you what, they're going to take a timeout. We're going to take a quick one, be back 5 minutes, 43 seconds in this third quarter. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Lot Law. Visit MattLotLaw.com. And we're back. Five minutes, 43 seconds left in this third quarter. Got just a minute. We'll do a sh just a quick shout-out to Andrea, my wife. She's volunteering at the Elks Lodge tonight. Tonight's steak night. And uh, everybody shows up at the uh, Elks Lodge on Friday nights for that steak. Or, if you don't like the steak, there's fried fish. And that's always good. You can't go wrong either way. You can't go wrong. Hand off again. And this time he's going to be drugged down. Uh, 
I don't think it was a face mask, but he, he got that jersey right up under that face mask and was able to bring him down. So he's going to bring up third and about five. Out of step. Almost. Tell you what, he almost had it. Um, but falls incomplete. It's going to be fourth and five for Gula. So we'll see that punting crew. Yeah, Harold, like you were saying, uh, here over Biloxi, they play Sandman by Metallica, and they have the lights flickering on and off. I almost, I couldn't go to the restroom. I couldn't see. It was dark outside. <laughs> I was wondering why you weren't back when we kicked off. <laughs> Didn't know what the heck was going on. <laughs> well, hey, it happens. Fake punt. That fake punt. They had to throw the flag there. I mean, and he still caught it with the guy draped all he over. He did him. catch it, but there should have been a flag too. I tell you what. Are they how did they? Drop how the do they not throw the flag on that? He was draped on him like a cheap suit. I'm going to tell you what. I ain't said it all year, but that was hogwash right there. And they said he dropped the ball, so it's Biloxi's ball. I don't even – he could have dropped the ball. But if that wasn't pass interference, then what the heck is pass interference? Yeah, that was um, – yeah. So, Biloxi will have the ball on their 39-yard line. He's going to run into a wall. Yeah, I think he's going to be tackled about the 39. They might give him the 40, but I don't think he didn't get any yards. They're going to not – yep, he can put it back back on the 39, so he didn't get anything. He's going to be second and 10. It's like he run into that, that Panther wall. Great job for that for that defensive line of Pascagoula, snuffing that play out. Farron Taylor along with uh, – Oh, great, great Good defense. Job. Great defense by that Pascagoula defensive line. Number 97 leading the charge on that tackle for Pascagoula, Sebastian Bonds, an upcoming junior. Oh, man. Here for a moment there, I thought he was jumping the route, the, the uh, corner yeah. for Pascual. I thought it was going to get an INT. That's going to move the chains for Biloxi. I mean, it was zip pass. I mean, it was just yeah, it was, a good he, pass. He, 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 he threw it in the right place. Just a quick shout out to Mr. Dale Johnson. Yes, sir, there is room. We'll be in contact. Inside quick pitch. Tell you what, uh, he kept those feet, those legs moving, and they were just picking up yardage. Maybe second and five for uh, Biloxi. Hand off back up the middle. Yeah. 
Once again, that is William Lai for for Biloxi. He's he's been uh, busy all night tonight. You got two minutes five seconds left in this third quarter. The time is moving fast tonight. Uh, it's been a, a fast paced game. Touchdown, touchdown Biloxi. Biloxi. Tell you what, the quarterback took a real hit too. Yeah, he stood in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit, and he delivered the pass. And a uh, great catch by the receiver for Biloxi. Things just got a little bit tighter here. Well, you, yeah, absolutely. And um, he just got that step behind the receiver. And um, I'm sorry, the step behind the DB. Able to come down with it for the touchdown. Borsi attempting the extra point for. You know, we'll see what happens here, but in try in uh, practice, he hit that right. It's good, but he hit that right. Uh, Arrow, here they go with these lights again. <laughs> There's got to be a rule against that. Yeah, There's got to be a safety hazard, man. There's got to be some safety hazard violations going on. But, but Harold, have you noticed uh, d during the second half, does Pascagoula look like they've come out with that same intensity they had uh, in the first half? Well, I tell you what, um, let's let's give it another series, and, and we'll, we'll make we'll make that uh, that comment there. I hope we never do that light thing over at War Memorial. Tell you what, it sends you into maybe an epileptic <laughs> seizure. I mean, it's cool and everything, okay? But, wow. Borsi kicking off for Bluxy Deep back for Pascagoula, Jalen Webb, and Tylen Wilson. Going to be Webb on the return. Going to be tackled about the 24-yard line. Met with a host of Biloxi Indians on that play. You just can't let Biloxi hang in there, hang in this ball game. You, you, we needed to really put that uh, that the points on the board. Kind of, kind of put the nail in the coffin. Yeah, and yeah. Um, the longer we let them hang around, the uh, the more potent they become. You know, entering this game, we knew we were going to have we were going to have multiple starters that were out. And uh, I have to tell you, uh, some of these um, replacements have played pretty I hadn't dead seen, good. Hadn't tonight. seen much of a fall off at all. No. Nice Great. play there you by go. Campbell. Who threw him a block? Campbell oh, still a block. on his feet. Don't clip. Not in the back. Great job, number 15. Barnes on the the, the block there. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds. Wow. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds about the eight-yard line. I tell you what, that was a heck of a bar block by Brian Barnes to not clip that defender in the back. Tell you what, uh, you know, he, he, he's, he's a big old young man. Uh, you're staying next to him. He doesn't look that big down there. You're staying next to him and you're looking up. I mean, it's. Well, that, that was a great job of not clipping in the back on that play. He could have easily blocked that defender in the back. <clears throat> so, Pascal has a first down. Real quick, that's going to be um, – that's going to be a Pascoola first down, sponsored by Michael Fondren with Citroen Attorneys. Quarter doing a good job managing this game. It's going to be timeout Biloxi. We'll take that timeout also. It's Busby for Transportation Commissioner. A good game plan requires the right play caller. Vote Busby. November 7th for Mississippi's Southern District Transportation Commissioner. 
Fletcher Construction Company has established itself as one of the leading commercial and industrial contractors on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The superior quality of their construction has met and exceeded customers' expectations for decades. Having successfully completed projects ranging in size from thousands to millions of dollars, Fletcher has the experience to complete any size project on schedule and within budget. Fletcher Construction Company, 3311 Shortcut Road in Pascagoula. A proud sponsor of Panther Football on WGUD. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. And we're back, Pascagoula, with the ball on the Biloxi eight-yard line. Going to be first and goal to go. Hand off up the middle. Touchdown. Touchdown, Pascagoula. Amari Jackson, he just zigged and zagged his way into the end zone. So, Pascagoula answers Biloxi's score with a score of their own. And you can hear the Pascagoula band playing the fight song over there. Tank Bishop attempting the extra point for Pascagoula. Number 43, Tank Bishop to an extra point answer. It's up and, and blocked. Up. Tell you what, he come in there quick, and he, he extended, he got his hands in the – and was able to block it. Yeah, he did it textbook. He stretched out like you're supposed to and aim at the foot, and aim at the, where the ball's supposed to be. Yeah. And uh, he, it was uh, a great block. So Pascagoula leading 20-7. to We'll be back with that kickoff right after this. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by New Wave Internal Medicine. The Pascagoula Panther live stream is proudly brought to you by Bozo's Grocery, Bozo's Two, and Bozo's Two and a Half. Come on down to Bozo's today. We is at Eureka House Thrift Store, where all of our proceeds go back into our ministry to support our men, women, and children. We accept donations Monday through Saturday from 9 until 6. We thank you and God bless. And we're back. McAdams kicking off for Pascagoula. Ten seconds on the play clock. Ball bouncing around on the ground. They're going to come up with it about the 36-yard line. About a minute, 15 seconds left in this third quarter. Pascagoula leading 20-7. to seven. And I don't know who's above us, but, buddy, they are stomping on that ceiling. Handoff around the end, going to be hit by a host of Panthers. Number seven, Loper, getting up off the bottom of the pile. Loper having a really good ball game. He is. Going to be hit, number 52, holding 92. 
Wasn't called. Yeah, I don't see any <clears throat> laundry on the field. But that'll move the chains for Biloxi. I mean, when you've got him by the back back here and, and you know, the back of the collar, it, it's got to be holding. <laughs> Ball's going to be on the Pascagoula 45. Handoff around the end. To be tackled about the 48 yard line. So that'll into. bring the fourth quarter to an end. I mean, I'm sorry, the third quarter to an end. Panther fans, get your four fingers in the air. We'll be back right after this. It will be interesting to see how many times. Uh... Oh. Mississippi, Alabama. Andy wins. Andy wins. On two. On two. Hut, hut. Touchdown! Yes! Yes! Yeah! I may be a little bit slow on the gridiron these days, but I got you back in the courtroom. Go Panthers! All right! And we're back, getting ready to kick off this fourth quarter. Pascagoula leading 20 to seven. Defense has played pretty good this entire ball game. Yeah, and we knew that was gonna be a critical part of this football game for that Pascagoula defense to show up and flex his muscle tonight. And uh, through three quarters, they're, they're doing that. Hand off up the middle. Not much there, Harold. I think he might have gotten to the 40. Bring up second and looks to be six. Well, they're going to say. A third, third down. I'm sorry. Yeah, third and five. Mm -hmm. Third and five. And off around that end. Wow, good defense for Pascagoula. Host of Panthers on the uh, tackle. Getting off the bottom of the pile is gonna be Taylor. Yeah, Wyatt Henderson did a great job for Pascagoula turning that thing inside. He was the first one there. Wyatt's one of those players that uh, quietly does his job and he's always around the ball. Uh, you get big things from him and- um, Another one of those- Exciting juniors. to watch. Fourth down in the quarterback dropping back. It's gonna fall incomplete. So Pascagoula should take over on downs. Gonna have the ball about the 41 yard line. 10 minutes, 41 seconds left in the game. <coughs> Tell you what, we'll take a quick break. Be right back after this. Busby for Transportation Commissioner. A good game plan requires the right play caller. Vote Busby, November 7th for Mississippi's Southern District Transportation Commissioner. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Amari Jackson on the carry. Tell you what, he got clotheslined. He's going to pick up a few for Pascagoula. But you know what, Harold? He pops right back he up. He does. He pops right back up. Love that young man. I'm going to bring up second and eight for Pascagoula. Quarter 
looking downfield. He's got May. Going to be a reception, and he's got room. About 10 to 5. Going to be touchdown, Pascagoula. Got to love that. Yes. Nice play. May had, you know, I thought he was going to go down. He was able to, uh, athletic, you know, he's, he's an athletic player. He was able to keep his feet in nothing but space. Nothing green, but space. Green grass ahead of him, Harold. Green grass ahead of him. Great throw by quarter to get it out there to him. And great catch. And like you say, uh, for, for the receiver to keep his balance and, and, and finish the play. Because you know what I like to talk about? That yak. That yak. There you go. Yards after the catch. Tank Bishop attempting the extra point for Gula. It's up. And good. Pascagoula extends the score. 27 to 7. We'll be back with that kickoff right after this. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Lot Law. Visit MattLotLaw.com. And we're back. Pascagoula kicking off to Bluxy. Looking down at the um, the Facebook, um, Coach Merrill. Do you remember Coach Merrill? Oh, we work out at the same gym. Ah, uh, you brutes. I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> Ain't nobody told him he's old yet. Oh, he's still doing his thing, give, uh, giving me hope. Hey, there you go. How you doing, Coach? Thank you for listening. Tank Bishop kicking for Pascagoula. Fair catch. At the 32-yard line. Nine minutes, 51 seconds left in this game. I tell you real quickly, you're talking about Coach Merrill. He has been such an inspiration to me in the gym, man. Uh, when things are getting tough and he sees me ready to to, to, to take that break or don't get that extra rep, he always comes over and gives a word of encouragement. So, Coach, we appreciate you. How long have you known Coach Merrill? Uh, man, since junior high school. Since so. junior high. Let me tell you something. Uh, he was a um, he was doing his student coaching or – teaching student teaching at, at Calmer and um, he's one of my favorite all-time coaches uh, it, that word of inspiration is something he's done all his career so bring him down <coughs> ball about the 36 yard line well Harold you know I like to give history sometimes about our Pascal the Panthers the year that we won the state championship in 87 Coach Merrill never got to see a game. You know why? Because he was, he was, he was yeah, away scouting he was uh, the other teams that we would play the next week. So the only game he got to watch was the actual state championship game. And, and what a game. What a you game. Know. Gonna be second and five for Biloxi. Swinton, oh man, oh. he wanted to run before he had the ball. Intended receiver number eight, Darian Perkins for Biloxi. I tell you what, Harold, it's nothing like Friday nights under the lights. High school football is just in the South, it's just something different. I've been saying that for years. Uh, nowhere I would rather be on a Friday night during football season, other than a football game. And almost oh. intercepted. Tell you, uh, Antonio Price, his hands were out. It hit him in the hands, and he didn't realize it was, it was there. Looked like they were trying to catch it and pitch it, Daryl. Do the uh, – what, what was the play, the old – Hook and uh, ladder. Hook and ladder. They're talking about something down there, so. Good 
Let's hear from our sponsors real quick. We got yes, a, we got definitely, a minute. Definitely. <clears throat> New Wave Internal Medicine, Fletcher Construction, Lot Law, Bozos, Bozos Two, and Bozos Two and a Half, Foster's Heating and Air, Kirk Harbin Construction, Aruka House Thrift Store, Michael Freundren and Centron Injury Attorneys, Pascagoula Athletic Foundation, and Charles Busby for Transportation Commission. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your sponsorships. And if you're looking to be a sponsor, we still have spots available. Please give us a call. Couldn't have said it any better myself. I think I'm getting the hang of this thing. Hey, man, you're doing a great job. Great job. I don't know what they're discussing down there, but regardless, something's going on. We're fixing to see what they what they've come up with. <clears throat> Five yard penalty. Uh, waiting to see. They're going to say illegal participation. to bring up fourth and about four. So uh, deep back for Pascagoula is going to be Jalen Webb and Tylen Wilson. Nice punt. Fair catch. Jalen Webb with the fair catch. Ball will be placed on the 24-yard line. Tell you what, um, you know, coming over here, you, we we were nervous because we had so many starters that were out tonight, and um, but. I, I, we were saying earlier the uh, the you know, your backups they, they come in and we didn't like it's not like we really lost and that's a, that's a good good feeling to have that you know that you had a, a player that can come up and, and 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 do his job. Yeah, I think having that next man mentality that's what Coach Sims coaches and teaches and is very evident here this evening during this game. And it prepares you and makes you a little more confident as you go into region play. Absolutely. Amari Jackson on the carry for Gula. Going to pick up about two yards. Tell you what, he has carried the load tonight, or for at least 90% of the load, on, um, on rushes. Well, they established the run early in the first quarter, and they and, uh, and with a mix with a little bit of pass, and it's been it's been working. It's been working tonight. Another handoff up the middle. Well, that's a, well, that's like a what, horse, horse collar like right a, there. He was grabbed by the by the shoulder pads here around his neck. I think he picked up about a yard. It's going to bring up third and seven. Quarter rolling to his right, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, May. Tell you what, there was some confusion. You never saw the receivers get set. You had May was being told to go change his position. I, I don't know if he just didn't line up where he was supposed to, or, or but anyway, he was being moved around. Right. It just seemed like they never got set. Yeah, that play, that, that didn't materialize. It started out wrong. Tank Bishop kicking for Gula. Nice punt by Mr. Bishop. 
Ball Ball's on, on the, the ground. ground. Looks like Pascagoula might have come up with it. Brian Barnes on the uh, cover there. Uh, the Luxie player called for a fair catch and dropped Bob, the ball, and Mr. Bob Barnes was there. Brian Barnes, I tell you what, he hustles too. He's thrown a touchdown springing block. Well, at least we thought it was a touchdown. They got called back. But at least yeah, I never saw one. him step out of bounds. So. And now he just recovered a, a fumble on the punt. Great heads up by Mr. Barnes this evening. So, Pascula's offense <clears throat> gets the, another chance here. Ball on the 40-yard line. That's the Biloxi 40. Seven minutes, 20 seconds left in this game. And off again tomorrow. No, this time it's Webb. Going to bring the ball across the 30. That's going to be a first down for Pascagoula. Sponsored by Michael Fondren with Citroen Attorneys. This time, Quarter keeps it. Going to pick up about a yard. yard. <clears throat> um, Tell you what, they, they ripped his helmet off. So, but. I think he's going to have to go out for a play. Yeah, he has to go out for a play. So, um, yeah. Loper will come in. I, they didn't knock his helmet off. It was like, how, how did you get the helmet off? You, you had to pull that helmet off, right? You had to pull it off. <laughs> Official timeout here. It's going to be the heat timeout. We'll take it also. Be right back right after this. Busby for Transportation Commissioner. A good game plan requires the right play caller. Vote Busby. November 7th for Mississippi's Southern District Transportation Commissioner. Fletcher Construction Company has established itself as one of the leading commercial and industrial contractors on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The superior quality of their construction has met and exceeded customers' expectations for decades. Having successfully completed projects ranging in size from thousands to millions of dollars, Fletcher has the experience to complete any size project on schedule and within budget. Fletcher Construction Company, 3311 Shortcut Road in Pascagoula, a proud sponsor of Panther Football on WGUD. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. And we're back. The question in the uh, the break was, is um, was Quarter going to have to sit out a play? Uh, you know, after, you know, helmet comes off, you call timeout, he can come back out on the field. But that was an official timeout, so apparently he doesn't come back out on the field. And uh, you've got Jared Loper, number seven, at quarterback. Who started at middle linebacker tonight. Handoff to Webb, trying to get around that end. Going to cut it up to about the 25-yard line. I'm gonna tell you what, that is that's a that's one mindset to a completely different mindset. Defense, you know, middle linebacker, and then doom, you get you get thrown in there and now you're the quarterback, you know. Um, even though it was just for one play, it's just a a big change in what well, you're doing. I, I think it just shows in the flexibility of uh, that young man. Again, Mari Jackson on the carry this time. Oh, he's, he's still, still on, his, on feet. his feet. He's still on his feet. He's still on his feet. Wow. About the 18-yard line, maybe the 16, depending on where they spot it. That's going to be a first down for Pascagoula. Sponsored by Michael Fondren with Citroen Attorneys and Law. That was a uh, that was a hard fault. That was hard fault yardage. Man, he's been running hard all year. Yeah. And uh, – 
you you can tell it's not the size of the dog. It's the size of the fight in the dog. That's uh, something like that, right? Yeah. And yeah, we, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll, okay, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> what I'm saying, he has a big heart. That he and, does. And he plays hard. That he does. <laughs> Oh, he was hit hard this time. But guess what he did, Harold? He popped right he back popped up. Right number, back up. Number thirty-four. Yeah, that's he going to be Jace Cummings on the tackle. He shot in like a sh you know like a shotgun. Yeah, he was met right when he got the ball on that play. Yeah, shotgun blast. I mean, he was hit hit hard. But he got right back up. Absolutely tough. Be second and. 13 for Pascagoula. Three minutes, 46 seconds left in this game. Pascagoula up 27-7. Got an opportunity to put another one in the end zone. Watch the play clock. This time quarter keeps it. Look into the quarter end zone. He was he had double coverage over there. One of them was blanketing him, but your intended receiver was number 13, Darius Carter. It's going to be third and 13. Ball on the 20. Hand off to Webb again. Going to try to get around the end. to be brought out of bounds. I don't even think he, he might have got a yard. Yeah, it's going to be fourth down and long, Harold. <clears throat> Looks like they're going to attempt the um, field goal. Lone snapping for Pascagoula, number 53. That's going to be Ty Johnson. Tank Bishop with the kick. It's up. And it's no good. I thought it squeaked in there. So, the pa so Pascagoula still leading Biloxi, 27-7. Three minutes, 16 seconds left in the game. We'll take a quick break. Be right back. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by New Wave Internal Medicine. The Pascagoula Panther live stream is proudly brought to you by Bozo's Grocery, Bozo's Two, and Bozo's Two and a Half. Come on down to Bozo's today. And we're back. Three minutes, 16 seconds left in this game. Pascagoula once again leading 27-7. A lot of new numbers down there. Intended receiver, number five, but that, that pass was hurried. It's going to be Tristan Haynes with your intended receiver. Yeah, great pressure by that Pascagoula defensive line. What a jump. I tell you what, Taylor. Taylor got a good jump. Man, that Pasigula defensive line is putting some pressure on the quarterback now. Actually thought that, that he was off sides. I mean, it was that close, but uh, not the case.
Oh, great stop, great stop. Nice defense by Pascagoula. By number 92. It's gonna be Farron Taylor. Great play by Mr. Taylor. Fourth and about six, Arrow. Tell you Man, what, he, he was across the, the line, line of scrimmage. How can you throw? He was across. Wasn't he across the I, line? I of see scrimmage? a flag, so uh, but I don't know if they would call it from down here. But man, he looked across the line of scrimmage to me. Man, I thought I thought he was. We'll see what they call. But if he's across the line of scrimmage, you can't throw the. I guess he wasn't across the line of scrimmage. Got to move the chains for Biloxi. They got a big a discussion going on. What was that? Okay. Well, I guess they didn't mark enough off on the uh, pass interference. Quarterback dropping back, looking downfield. Going deep. Nice play by Jalen Webb. Two minutes, 13 seconds left in the game. Number 20, your ball carry, and he's going to be hit hard. Tell you what, that big number seven, Jared Loper. He is having a game tonight. I know number 97 also for Gula, Sebastian Bonds, getting up off the bottom of that pile. But him, thing, and, him and Loper lowered the boom on him. One thing about Mr. Loper, he's not, he's not afraid to put his head in there. No, he's not. Oh, Under we got a him, lot we got of pressure, him. Pascagoula brings him down. Number 45, and Wyatt. Num and number 92 to help clean it up. Farron Taylor, number 97, also went on the play. Sebastian Bonds, once again, be huge loss. See, in times like this, Harold, when the game, uh, when, when they're behind, when a team is behind like that and they got to go in the passing mode, mm -hmm. when you're a defensive lineman, you can just pin your ears back and, and just go. go. And go. And that's what we're seeing right now from that Pascagoula defensive front. Well, it looks like um, Pascagoula is going to is going to take this one. Uh, they're going to go to four and one. Biloxi's going to drop to two and three. The um, the 99th version or edition to this series, Pascagoula is going to take. Most important is is we move on to next week and. Who do we have at home? It's going to be Picky Yoon. Picky Yoon, and I don't know what they're doing tonight. I'll check it just real quick. Um, give me just a second here. Update that. Okay, Picky Yoon drops to Ocean Springs, 31 to 21. So uh, they'll be fired up next week. They will. Almost. I tell you, Farron, Taylor oh. is seeing something because yeah. they, they might have got him that time. He might have been all – nope. 
I thought he was off sides again. He's seeing something. He is going at the snap of the ball. There is an end. Well, I think he's even getting. There's an indicator somewhere. He's picking up on something. The way he's coming across as hard as he is. Pascal's offense coming back on the field. And Harold, you know, me being a big, one of those big ugly offensive linemen in my day, uh, I want to give a shout out to those linemen tonight. They played well. They came out and dominated early. Set the tone, I think, for this game. Jeremiah yep. Moore, Kalen Hollings, Quentin Johnson, Chris Taylor, and Thomas Ash. Great job tonight, Panthers. And let's don't forget Tristan Fortenberry. He was he was in until he went out with what looked to be maybe a knee injury. That is correct. Tristan Fortenberry as well. So Pascagoula goes in. Another another snap or two, and this one this one will be in the books. Well, I'll tell you, it's good to have you back tonight. It's and good to be back. It's good to be back. I'll tell you, uh, Chris Blythe, my my best friend in this world, uh, he filled in for you, and um, but I, I told him I'm ready for Carlos to come back. Well, thank you for for having me and all the kind words and. You know, all the, the, the prayers that you sent up for, for my family during the week and the phone calls. And uh, thank you, Panther Nation. We look forward to next week. Let's come out and support these young men because they're going to have a tough, hard, physical game next week. It is going to be just that, physical. Picky Yoon, every time they come to Pascagoula, they come with attitude and chip on the shoulder. And Pascagoula is going to have to meet that attitude head on. So... You meet aggression with aggression. With aggression, that's right. So, so I, come out and support these young men and these coaches and the band and the cheerleaders next Friday night at, at the world famous. Yeah, I said it. World famous War Memorial. War Stadium. Memorial Stadium. Stadium. You got some that try to call it the war. It is the War Memorial, Memorial Stadium. Stadium. Dutch Binion Field. Yeah. Pascagoula next week. Picayune Pascagoula. That's going to be a ball game. If you can get there, be there to watch it. Put your butts in the seats. Other than that, if you can't, you can meet, you can reach up. You can watch the game here on YouTube Live or yeah. Facebook Live. Facebook Live is not the War Stadium. It's War Memorial, and it's not the Dutch. It's Dutch <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> there you go. You heard it right here. Carlos Moles speaks the truth. But for now, I've got Hunter Bickham on camera, Carlos Moles on my color. I'm Harold Tillman. We'll see you next week.